Necroz, Dark Magician, Trap Tricks, and some other top metagame picks for you guys today. You guys smash it the crap out subscribe and see you guys don't miss out on more awesome content. So Raiden Trade had a, I believe it was a qualifier, and this is first place from that qualifier. And it's been a hot long time coming since we've had the chance to see, yes, Necroz, of all things, succeeding out here. I, uh, I just, I'm happy for this. It, it's actually very nice. So, also we're not playing Herald in this, which is kind of interesting as well. So we have triple copies. Of Artifact Lansia. Triple copies of Draw and Lockbird. Two copies of the Incantation Candle. Two copies of Pencil Plume. Two copies of Talismandra. Triple copies of Manju of the 10,000 Hands. One copy of Shrit. One copy of Ben 10. Two copies of Chalice Slime. One copy of a Bread Hair. Triple copies of Necroz of Brionic. Two copies of Necroz of Colossus. One copy of Trishula. Triple copies of Necroz of Unicorn. One copy of Necroz of Valkyrius. Then we have triple copies of Dark Roller No More, one in Incantation Inception, two copies of Cycle, two copies of Kaleido, and two copies of Necroz Mirror. And then we have triple copies of Preparation Rights, triple copies of Super Polymerization, and triple copies of TC Boo, wrapping up the main deck here. Extra deck down here. We have one Nightmare Phoenix, one Herald of Mirage Lights, one copy of Mecha Phantom Beast Draco Sack, one Zeus with one Dweller, two copies of Herald of the Arclight, one Starving Venom, one Praying Kids Weather Washer, one copy of the Mysterion Dragon Crown, one Muddy Mud Mud, one Elysium, one Five Headed Dragon, and then we have two copies of Anintis here. Side deck here we have triple copies of Ash of Blossom and Joy of Spring, triple copies of Gamma with one Vanity's Ruler, one copy of Side Frame Driver, one Harpy's Feather Duster, triple copies of Lightning Storm, and triple copies of Evenly Matched, wrapping up everybody's, well, uh, most missed deck in the room. Uh, so it's always nice to see Necroz getting the chance to perform up to new standards, which is very nice. Next up here we have Dark Magician, the deck. And once again, this is always a massive pleasure to see this deck do well. So Michael Boy got first place. Their locals going undefeated with this deck. And once again, Dark Magician has always been kind of one of those decks that might take a back seat in the room, but... It does optimize Dragoon technically to the best of its abilities. So we have one Dark Magician Girl, one Ecclesia, triple copies of Magician's Rod, triple copies of Magician Souls, two copies of Dark Magician, one copy of Red Eyes Black Dragon, one Call by the Grave, two copies of Dark Magical Circle, one Magical Ice Fusion, triple copies of Nadir Servant, one Red Eyes Fusion, one copy of Secrets of Dark Magic, triple copies of Soul Servant, and then Traps here we have triple copies of Dogmatic Punishment, two Eternal Soul, Triple copies of Ice Dragon's Prison, triple copies of Solemn Judgment, triple copies of Torrential Tribute, and triple copies of Trap Trick. Wrapping up the main deck here. Down here in the extract, we have one Frigid, one Verte, one Link Karibo, one Link Spider, the one Imduke, the one Artemis, the one Ultimate Falcon, one Last Warrior, one The Dark Magicians, and two copies of Red Eyes Dark Dragon. Then we have one Mysterion, two Anitus, and one actual Amulet Dragon. Uh, keep in mind that this is technically a generic super poly target for this deck. It, it never comes up, but technically you, you, you can do that. We also have triple copies of Artifact Lancia, one copy of Harpy's Feather Duster, triple copies of A Voyager of the Red Lotus, triple copies of Evenly Matched, two copies of Waking the Dragon, and triple copies of Witch's Strike. Wrapping up Dark Magician, it is kind of interesting to see a Dark Magician deck only playing two copies of Dark Magician, but to be honest with you guys, like, this card necessarily doesn't do anything to promote your game plan, even though it's a brick in the long run. You still want cards that can help accelerate that. So honestly, playing two of this does kind of seem a little bit more optimized. As bad as that actually sounds. All right, next up here, we have some love for Numeron. Uh, this is Gunnar Robinson's fifth place list. And I will say that Numeron getting the chance to do Numeron things is always kind of a nice thing. Uh, so cool thing is uh, we're, we get to go back to playing this kaiju. So we have triple copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring, two copies of Gamma Seal, the Sea Turtle Kaiju, two copies of Ghost Ogre and Snow Rabbit, triple copies of Lava Golem, triple copies of Numeron Wall, triple copies of Planet Pathfinder, triple copies of Gamma with one driver. And then spell cards here we have one Call by the Grave, two copies of Forbidden Droplet, one RV's Feather Duster, Triple Copies of Lightning Storm, Triple Copies of Memories of Hope, one copy of Monster Reborn, 
One Mystic Mind, two copies of Numeron Calling, triple copies of Numeron Network with one terraforming, with triple copies of Infinite Permanence, and one copy of Red Reboot. Wrapping up the main deck here. Down here in the extra deck, we have the one Underworld Goddess. This card actually gets you more value now. Hey, you can summon out four gates and then link out with uh, your opponents at Ignister Monster. Cute things for 500. We have one Abermax, one Unicorn, one Mega Clops, one IP Mascarena, one copy of Gate Sunya, two copies of Cadviri, two copies of Trini, two copies of V, and two copies of Akam, with one Omega. Side deck here we have Triple Lancia, one Scythe, two Cosmic Cyclone, Triple Dark Roller No More, Triple copies of Artifact Sanctum, and Triple copies of Dimensional Barrier, wrapping up Numeron. Keep in mind your game plan for this deck is still as simple as ever. Uh, opt for that hard smash go second button. Uh, watch your opponent not set back or hand them a lava golem. Uh, proceed to win the game. Because uh, you're just slamming 8k across the field here with these big guys. Easy? Easy. Alright. Easy is 1, 2, 3, baby. I love this deck. It's so much fun. Alright, and the last list I actually have for you guys here. Dun, 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 dun. Uh, just kidding, this isn't the last one. There's one more after this. This is a rated 7 folds. Top 64 out of the last Trap Games, and you're like, oh, top 64, and who cares? Still a friend of mine. I wanted to cover his list because it's Trap Tricks. Um, and uh, I got to give a shout out to the man here. He drill reincarnation to Dinosaur Player uh, at the event. And my friends were watching, and they, they were literally laughing. They're like, this is this is the greatest thing ever. So uh, shout out to that Dinosaur Player for being drill reincarnation. I'm sorry. I had to be like that sometimes. So we have triple copies of Dimension Shifter, triple copies of Parallel X Seed, triple copies of Atrex, two copies of Diana, triple copies of Mantis, triple copies of Myramilio, two copies of Vesculo, and then we have triple copies of Pot of Prosperity, two copies of Floodgate Trap Hole, triple copies of Grave Digger's Hole, triple copies of Ice Dragon's Prison. Then we have one in pure order, triple copies of Needle Ceiling, triple copies of Solemn Steerike, triple copies of the Shade Brigadine, and triple copies of Torrential Tribute. Wrapping up the main deck here. Extra deck! We have triple copies of Sarah, one copy of Kolaria, one copy of Link Spider, one Boral Sword Machine, one Chalcanine, one Borbo, one Reflasia. Then we have one copy of Almorars, one Redoer, one copy of Boguski, one Vespinado, one Sky Thunder, and one Abyssal. Side deck here we have Triple Ancia, a Triple Draw and Lockbird, two copies of Heavy Storm Duster, Triple copies of Solemn Judgment, two copies of Trap Trick, and two copies of Trickstar Reincarnation, wrapping up Trap Tricks. Yeah, that's you could argue that you could want to find room for like a third reincarnation, but honestly, like the trap tricks kind of make room for you to play a little smaller engine for this. I still can't believe he actually drove reincarnation somebody. It's like literally table five hundred shenanigans if I've ever heard it. Right, right, right. All right, the last list I have for you guys here. This is a Drytron list. Um, he reached out to me. This is Elliot Carmichiel. Carmichiel? Ah, I hope that's right. Uh, this is his third place list. Said, hey, Robbie, please cover this huge fan of the channel. I was like, ah, hey, man. I, I will always try to cover... If I have enough Rogue and enough to make a video, I'll incorporate everything I can. So, this is Drytron. So we have one copy of Artifact Lancia. Triple copies of Diviner of the Heralds. Triple copies of Alpha Thuban. Two copies of Altaius, one copy Gamma Altanen, triple copies of Albaya, one copy of Effect Veiler, two copies of Ava, triple copies Herald of the Orange Light, one copy of Angel uh oh, it's back. We have one copy of Ben 10, one Eda 10, one Natasha, one Herald of Ultimateness with one Fool, that's interesting. We have one Call by the Grave, two copies, or triple copies of Cyber Emergency, one Fafnir, triple copies of Nova, one copy of Foolish Bro. One copy of the Instant Fusion, two copies of Matana Strytron, and triple copies of Preparation of Rights. Down here in the extract, we have one Link Rebo, one Unicorn, one Phoenix, one Cerberus, one copy of IP Masquerade, one Boral Sword, one Apollosa, one Gaia Charger, okay. We have two Mu Beta, one copy of Sky Thunder, one Beatrice, two copies of Herald of the Arc Light, and one Millennium Eyes Restrict, wrapping up this chunk of deck profiles for you guys. Very, very interesting stuff, all things considered. I definitely, I like where these lists are going here for the future. We'll have to wait and see for more excitement here. So guys, what do you think about these lists? Please leave a comment down below to what you guys think. Smash your the subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more awesome content. Unless your beautiful faces back here later on the day with some more cool awesome content. Peace out, guys. Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end.
without you guys' support, well, I would probably be doing troubleshooting videos for a living. Guys, please check out Vanquil 40 for all of your Cardway Vanguard content brought to you by Impul 40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out impulgames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.